from one charming city to the next. Now we are in Pekalongan. Now another hour ride from Tegal. We're starting off with a typical dish in the area. Nasi Uwe. We are a very popular place. We're at Haji Zarkasi is the name of this restaurant. We got some people with us though. We got lots of people. We got Ari as always. And we got some local Hi. food bloggers. You want to introduce yourself? Pekalongan. Welcome to Pekalongan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> You want to give everybody your name? I'm Jacinta, you can call me Ayi. Ayi? Yeah. Ayi. Okay. I'm Anga. Anga. You can, you, can, you can call me Ang. Okay, <laughs> we'll do. So we're going to explore the small little city today, start off with some eats, we're going to go to a museum, we're going to actually get with them tomorrow and hang out with a lot of local people, but this video is going to all be about the food. So across the street here, they promised me there's going to be no traffic jam, so we're not going to get any traffic problems. Like I said, going for the Nasi Uwet, we're going to have lots of food to go with it. Aji Zarkaski is the name of the place. And look at this. Have you noticed like all the food spots? Whatever small city we go to have like really bright colored walls. And maybe this. See here? And look, they got all the dishes here. I don't know how well you can see them. We have the rice in the basket. Look at that, the bamboo basket. Yeah. Looks like some type of liver. Looks like almost like a chicken liver. I don't know. Ooh, curries, things wrapped, and intestines. This looks good, spicy. I don't think they have the the squid eggs with black ink, which we've been trying to get like four or five cities ago. We've had no luck. Since when? 59. 59. Yep. Right. Still in the family? Yes. Yeah. Same family. Generation. Oh, the sons are running it now. What? Pate tomato. Uh, so we do have some stink beans. Yes. Pate tomato. <laughs> and magono. The minced jackfruit. Because it's magono. Yeah. The minced jackfruit salad. Oh, yeah, okay. Sambal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can smell it. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a shrimp fritter. Yeah. yeah, very fragrant. Um, wow. I don't think I've ever seen any this big. Can't even see Ari. It covers Ari up. <laughs> and there, that's how you complete the meal right there. So first thing I want to start out with is the young jackfruit. It's actually got the torched ginger flower in there as well. Anybody knows that is a very distinctive flavor. Which is so warming, so filling. You just almost can't believe that's a, a vegetarian dish, the way it's so hearty. And then we got a beef satay here that they've actually ground and minced all that meat. I was gonna pull it out, but I may just take a bite. They're looking at me kind of strange when I did that. I don't think that's normal to do. Oh, that texture. The way they've almost ground it and pounded it until it's these, they're almost beef floss-like and soaked in like a sweet soy sauce. And finally, stink beans. First time in Indonesia. Oh, I've been waiting so long. You just can't beat that dish. So the uwet, mm -hmm. they like taking all the innards and like wrapped it. Yeah. It looks like it's tied together like a little package. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. All you know, intestine and all that. Uh -huh. Or just wrapped together yeah. and then yeah. stewed. So we eat everything. That's fine. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. It's just like, do I have to untie this or do I just go eat it? No, no, no. It's <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. Except the stick. Right, just don't eat the stick. Yeah. Oh, there's a stick in here. Oh, that one. I won't eat that one. I'll eat this part. Yeah. Any of the brothers I met like 10 years ago. Oh, so you know, you've known them for like a long time. Yeah. I didn't know y'all. Oh. How'd they do that? I'm sorry, I was just not ready for that texture. 
you know, always like inner, especially when you get dry and stuff, may have just a little bit of chew to it, but that was the most soft, delicate bite. I may have had it in Indonesia. I'm thinking right now, the wheels are turning. Hey, so I got to come back in the kitchen, want to check it out. Uh, we were looking right here, look, they got the jackfruit salad right here. They got to have a lot of it because the locals love to have their jackfruit salad with every meal. Uh, the reason we got to come back to the kitchen because they're wet in the front. I thought it was almost sold out. But they brought us back here to the kitchen to show us they actually have more right here. Uh, and this is it, man. It's kind of where they park. It's kind of their home almost. They got fridges right here. Wow, the door. <laughs> the door doesn't kind of work. <laughs> uh, sate? Sate kambing. Uh, sate kambing. Mm. Uh, terima kasih, Pak. Sama -sama. <laughs> bye bye. bye. Uh, terima kasih. Anyways, a neat little place. I had to show you the kitchen the second time. Because first time I wasn't filming. Anyways, the only thing you gotta worry about this place is it closes Thursday nights, Friday mornings. Other than that, serving all day long. It's 59, 20 dishes. Respect, respect, respect. That was honestly probably one of the top three meals I've had in Indonesia. Something about the uwet and the jackfruit and the, the stink beans all come together over curry and rice. Ooh. But that's the only nasi uwet in According to the locals, yes. Uh. <laughs> I never saw the other nasi uwet for sure. Yeah. Okay. But I just so. learned that that's the only place that sell it. That's a really special find. What do we got here? Look at this. Ice santan. So we got actually the ice with the coconut milk. So this is a picture of a durian. And that's because we can get durian in this. That's what we're going to do. I'm checking out. He's got actually a panda in right here. He's going to make us a cup. Real quick, why make us a couple cups? And she has a duffel. And she has a couple different types. So there's things in here you can come in here, pick and choose. We got somebody getting avocado. You got durian if you like it, if you don't like it. Almost looks like she got some like pandan water. I think that's actually where she just cleans her cups. But the main thing is you're going to get it all over that coconut milk. I'll take some ice to the face. Cheers. Well, I don't have anybody cheers with. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, one word. Yeah, what's up? Pakalongan sa pore. That means pakalongan. Oh, it's great. <laughs> That's a long sentence. Pakalongan. Oh, yeah, there's a yeah. pakalongan. Okay. Yeah. Sapore. Sapore. S A K P O R E. Uh, Sapore. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we will have to work on that. This is really sweet, though. Mm. Honestly, the durian is just like a small little tiny part of it because coconut milk it's so floral like there is pandan in there but it's it's a little bit thicker closer to like coconut cream and avocado afternoon prayer started so i'm not going to say anymore so it's like i really like this let the prayer finish and we'll probably move it on to the next spot by then no i cannot read this but you see unesco and yeah. already talked to me and he explained to me what this means it's protected the building right here to a lemonade factory, Oriental, all of this cannot be modernized. It needs to stay like fine wine. It's aging and developing. All right, so bottle uh, 8,000. Got a lot of flavors we can choose from. Ari's always already talked me in. He said, You gotta try a kopi mocha. 
Here they are. Is this like lemonade I would think of from the West or is yeah. this different? No, mm -hmm. it's different. We call this limon, which is like a uh, fizzy drinks, basically it's soda. Right, so uh, you know, when I hear lemonade, I'm like, oh man. Yes, this is a lemonade, basically it's soda, soda drinks. Okay. Mom, I have a question. What is it about this place that became a UNESCO and like it got preserved? Okay, because of the building itself, the history of the building. Right. Yeah, so we are actually in Jatayu. Jatayu is a Pakalongan heritage area because a uh, long time ago, during back in uh, which century, we were colonized by the Dutch. Mm. So that's why you can see a lot of uh, Dutch colonial buildings around this area. Okay. See? Everybody got every flavor. See? Yeah. See, it says lemonade. See? Yeah, lemonade. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was talking about. I was like, we're going to the coffee shop that has lemonade, but it's a soda pop. Lemonade factory. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Careful, Ari. This is fine. Okay, we try. Okay, we should try. Okay, help yourself, guys. This is soursop, frambozen, mango, pineapple, salsa parilla, so. and coffee mocha. Coffee mocha. Ooh, it tastes. Just like you think you would, it's it's coffee mocha flavor, but a carbonated cold drink. On uh, Temple, we call it uh, Dutch water. Dutch water. Yeah. Fizzy drinks in Indonesia is actually yeah influenced by the Dutch colonial. Okay, so even in this like small little town, we started with an Arabic influenced dish, and then now we're going to like a Dutch, and so there's a lot of influence just in this small little town. Help me out. They're so strong. It's like a root. So it's a root. So it's going to be like root beer. Yeah, root. That's why root beer. Yeah. Oh, it does smell like root beer. Yeah. It's exactly a root beer. That one's good. Yeah. Just need some vanilla ice cream with that. Yes. <laughs> What's everybody's favorite? What'd you pick? Uh, Sour Sour Mango. Mango. Yeah. Sasha Parilla and Mango, wow. Yeah. I really like the root beer, because I'm like used yeah. to it. So we came during break time, and now they're getting started going, now that we've had our drink. We're gonna start by first thoroughly cleaning the bottles. And after done cleaning, bring it over here, right? They will make the concoction for the color flavored, or the flavor they want. This is a liquid sugar. It goes in the bottle. So you can't see, I'm not gonna pick one up because I don't want to de-sterilize it, but there's just the coloring, the flavor, and the sugar in it. And over here, we're gonna add soda to it when they come in here. So this is the soda, the carbonation, and the soda water. <laughs> it's gonna have the carbonation. And then it's gonna go through the process down here. You can see, they'll probably take this machine right here, pull that lever, and cap the bottles. You think we'd be lost kind of walking down right here almost look like you're in some residential area but we've had arabic influenced food we've had dutch influenced drinks now we got to have a chinese influenced meal so we're going for miso i know right very diverse <laughs> this is called miso yes but not like the soybean miso paste miso yeah. not the japanese miso <laughs> yeah different kind of miso. the me actually comes from like the actually chinese word like mian in the so i don't know we'll find out but we're gonna walk, find the restaurant. Wait, so this is the Arabic area? Arabic, Arabic. Uh, Javanese Arabic, yeah. Uh -huh. Japanese Arabic, so, Japanese so we're going, Chinese. yeah, so we're going for a Chinese dish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But look at this, look at this. I was walking down this little alley, how peaceful it is. Besides my loud voice. Lovely, all the greenery, it's tiny. It's charming, and you notice like the it's not near as loud down here either. You got like the old buildings here. Look at that wood. Very charming little alley. That's the one. Oh, uh, comes out of nowhere. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but you know, all the, the famous people come here, like the uh, the mayor and the family. Mm-hmm. They all come uh, here. All the celebrities of Kalongan, they 
You just go here because Bambas, it's different when you take it away and eat here. Mm. It has a different taste. Yeah, I mean, you kind of get into. Assalamualaikum. It's a. Uh, oh, did you hear? That was the first time I've heard her say Assalamualaikum. Hi. Assalamualaikum. Inamiso. Inamiso. Yeah. What's yeah. up? It feels like you're just walking up on somebody's home and. Oh. I think. Do we take our shoes off? I think. Maybe so. I don't know. Oh wait, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be the Western that walks with the shoes on. Take shoes off. Okay. Ini namanya kerupuk. Huh? Usak. Usak kerupuk usak. The, the type of kerupuk made here is um, used here is kerupuk usak made Kerupu from tapioca. Gorengnya pakai pasir. Use only uh, sand, hot sand. Ah, okay. This is another kerupuk called kerupuk mie ya. Ambil sini mas. Cobain. Mantap. Mantap. Mantap ini. Tetap betul. Enggak. There's some type of powder on it. Nice. Apa? Itu ini ini. Bumbu ya. Spice. Ah, yeah. I think coriander. Yeah. Bumbu rahim. Enggak enggak. Ada nih es jeruk sama es teh. Es teh aja. Es teh ham. Es teh ham. Kasih bakso. Es teh berapa mas? Nah ini. Oh wow. Coriander. Semua pok ya. Sapi. Sapi. Oh sapi. Okay. Kaki namanya pembaik kan? Iya. Kaki. Kaki sapi. Udah kelilingi. Lo scaling on top. Oh, look at that bowl. Chili. Tras. Oh, terima kasih. Yuk. Mari dicoba. Sini bisa udah ada sekarang. Bisa semua terang-terang. Udah meningkat. Sini. Okay. That's it. Okay, no problem. Just like a family, no strangers. <laughs> oh, same. Mantap? Mantap. Mantap. All right, let's give this dish some respect and let's try that broth out. Mm. I mean, I don't know if it's because like, I feel like I'm in a living room or what, but that is probably one of the homiest dishes I've had while in Indonesia. Get a little chili and a bakso. Is it bakso sapi? Yes. Um, bakso sapi. Mm -hmm. Right, chili here. Mm. Mm. He's laid this out here for me. Like I gotta take some. You can't eat a noodle dish. Without having some noodles. I can't even find the kurupuk. They had in there. Look at them. They're just kind of like melted, disintegrated. Beef kurupuk and noodles. So very hot. But no, like I admit, for me, it's all about the broth. Very special. Long, slow. Mind up. That's right. Oh, so you did? Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting told what to do. Let's try it. Mm. Now the only way to get after the start of the show, you gotta go in with your hands. Look at that, look at all that cartilage. Low and slow. I bet you you can just kind of suck it off here. Mantul, mm. mantul, mm. Okay, we're about to get a picture, we're about to say our goodbyes. <laughs> and then we are going to go check into the CG Hotel, but that's going to be a different video. So I'll catch you after the CG Hotel. Over here. And we've checked into the hotel and everything, but we're saving the hotel dinner for another night. That'd be on the hotel video, so we gotta go find some food. Parked right next to Mosque here. Everybody getting some late night prayers, probably catching up on their prayers today. 
And we're going to a place to eat rice. We'll uh, go green, but when, it, when it's closed, then they will uh, okay. use the red light. Oh, <laughs> not green. Red. Yeah. red or just off? Red. Red? Yeah. Ah, I don't know where. The Borkachan, Joe, Gule, Kambing. Can we just dog some? Yeah. Dog some porridge. So the Kachang Joe is actually going to be mung bean. We have a mung bean dish with some rice, goat. Maybe it should be red. There's nobody here. This is back. Pak Mai, Pak Mai. Look at he's got a little broth here. He's gonna run. That's actually the tongue of the goat. He's gonna run it through there. Go ahead and make sure this isn't watered down at all. And, oh, I think that is the kacang jo, which is the mung bean little mixture. And then one last with the broth. I'll do that. Look at this. Look at this bean island with the broth around it. Look at it. Looks like a looks like a homey meal right there. Looks like something you want to eat. It's gonna put you to sleep. Let's go. I don't know how you cannot start with anything besides the tongue. All the different parts of it right here. Mm. Oh, wrong. I got the cartilage, the kikil and everything. The jiggly, gooey, goody. Yeah, you got all the good stuff. Yeah. Like, take some rice. Take I'm some good. rice, I'm good. I'm You don't good. want any? Part? I'm good, thank you. I'm gonna try some of the just random inner stuff right here. That's, that's something. That maybe is that like a tail part? Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be the tail. What tail? I think it's maybe my first time having goat tail. Yeah, I got one too. Mm. Oh, it's just like ox tail. It was a delicious piece, fatty, really rich, dark meat. Fall off the bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just some more ketchup. Big old jiggly piece, look at that wiggle. For such a small city, we started off and I was like, that's one of the best things I've eaten in Indonesia. And they keep being good every time. <laughs> Bye, so bye. <laughs> Do you really think we were only gonna eat one dinner? Warung makan pakbon. This place is popping. It's really going. Belum beruntung, cuminya belum ada juga mbak. Do they have the squid? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just all take close. Oh, look at this one. This looks this so is good. Yeah. I'm going to know. Amazing. What's this? Achar, pickle. Achar. Oh, you'll have a char here. Achar, yeah. So that's going to be a pickled vegetable. Yeah, look at it with that color. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This is a good looking place. Nice. Look at this, y'all. This is insane. That's a good looking plate right here. Where would you like to sit? Yeah, I need to sit. Sit here? Yeah, okay. And look at the place we're in. It almost looks like you're in like, like we kind of build our like metal barns like this. They used uh, tin, the tin roofing, tin on the sides. It looks good, right? Yes. You want it? You can have it. Go buy in. Go buy in. Go buy in. This is Sadi's tempe tahu. But I need, they have the, the, the coffee. Yeah, let me see. Say, so, sambal ketchup. Oh, sambal ketchup. Oh, really? Because it's spicier here. Always spicier in Pakalongan. It's a little bit spicy, but a little bit. That ripped off all my taste buds. I love this half portion Indonesian style. It's still a full plate. It's like the first smoked skipjack I've had that's also juicy. I'm glad this isn't like the last place. 
got everybody eating together how we should this time. I'm just on my camera, that's the problem. Okay, just so it's on record, tonight, the best. This is the best, whole trip? For the whole trip, until this minute. I see my golden part bonus is the best for me. Have the smoke skip jack and then the tendons. Okay. Oh my god. Cheers to that. I think this is the bite though. The jar, the tendon, the little sunball, ketchup, and curry. Yeah. I'm gonna show y'all one more time because it was that good. Go there, come here. I know this is like a heritage city. Maybe it's not a heritage city. It's a city that's got the heritage sites in it. But man, it should be a culinary destination. I would literally stop on that dang train just to come eat here for three or four days. So I've eaten enough in one day. You could fit in about three or four days. You can tell they're frying and cooking in here. It's so hot in here. It's up to us. Only us eating sweet. Mainly just a lot of coconut. Yeah. A touch of a touch of floralness. Yeah. Oh, like shredded wheat. The cereal. shredded noodle. I know, it's like yeah. shredded wheat like cereal. Shredded wheat, like <laughs> Filo pastry, right? Yeah. They couldn't have a turkey. It's gonna be awkward to eat. Mm-hmm. You need. Yes, and look, it's crunchy. It's kind of like bread pudding, shredded wheat, coconutty, rose water. Mm. Mm. Tell me. I'm not paying my